Good morning. It's uh, 5.44 a.m. It's Monday. Happy Monday, October 19, 2020. Welcome to your daily morning of prayer and power words. We are your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Our verse for today, for our uh, about prayer, is uh, from Luke 6, 27 to 28. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. Imagine even for your enemies, even for those people who you don't like, Jesus is telling us to pray for them. That's why prayer is very, very significant. Prayer is the power bank for our daily journey. It's a soul refresher. It's a stress reliever. It is a, me it is a means of communication. And for us here in LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene, this is the backbone of our ministry. Our goals are to be selfless, to teach our people how to pray, and to form a habit of praying. And these are our power words for this morning. In Ephesians chapter 3, verses 20 to 21, it says, Now to him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask for that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. To him be glory in the church in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. The title of our power words for this morning is God's Way. Paul is praying about Christ's unknowable love, and he bursts out in a song of praise. God is able, for he has all power. Amen. God is able to do, for he is active and at work in our lives. God is able to do what we ask, for he hears and answers our prayers. God is able to do what we ask or think, for he knows what we dream of, even that which we are afraid to ask for. God is able to do all that we ask or think, for there are no limits to his power and goodness. Amen. All right. God is able to do more than we ask or think, for He is gracious and exceeds our biggest dreams. God is able to do far more than all we ask or imagine, for His power and goodness transcend all boundaries. This is the God we come to. Amen. Amen. Sobra. Amen. And this is the God who hears our every prayer, every morning, every afternoon, every evening, every time that we pray to Him. That's why to Him be the glory. Amen and amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being our God, for being our answering God. We lift up your name, Lord God, this morning and acknowledge you that you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. Lord, we are so forever grateful for having a God who lives, a God who is powerful, a God that is so concerned about us from the, from the time that we were conceived in our mother's womb until the time that we will be taken from taken out from this world and to be forever with you in eternity. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord, for, <clears throat> for all the blessings, Lord God, for all the goodness, for all the kindness, for all the mercy. Lord, we ask for forgiveness for whatever things that we've done wrong, for all that we thought of, we, we did in action, Lord God, and um, scenes that... Uh, we, we said in words, forgive us, Lord God. 
Lord, we thank you for all the blessings that we received from you. We are continue to we are continue to receive from you and and blessings that we are about to receive from you. You, you never stop blessing us, Lord, and we're so grateful, Lord God. Lord, we ask for favor and we we seek your your kindness, Lord God, your 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 heart, Lord God, that to answer his prayer. We are praying for our world, for our country, for our church, Lord, for our neighbor. We are praying for our friends, our relatives, Lord God. We are praying for the pandemic, Lord God, the COVID-19 to end as soon as possible. We believe that uh, it is only your hands, Lord God, that is capable of stopping it. We pray for the economy to bounce back all over the world. Bless all the countries, Lord God. Bless all your people. We pray, Lord God, for President Trump and uh, former Vice President Biden, Lord God, as they uh, as they uh, will uh, meet in November three for the U.S. elections. We pray for the for a um, peaceful elections, Lord God, in the U.S. We pray, Lord God, for the new U.S. Supreme Court judge. Um, that uh, you will choose the right the, the right person, Lord God, in that uh, very crucial position. We pray, Lord God, unity in the Philippine Congress, Lord. And we pray that uh, it will not allow divisiveness among leaders, but uh, you will uh, sow spirit of uh, uh, unity, Lord God, because uh, they need to pass a certain budget for 2021. We lift up to you, our beloved President, Lord God, President Duterte. Lord, it's not about the personality, but it's about the position. It's about the office. May we have all respect and love for the office of the President, even though we are pro or anti-Duterte, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, for his good health. We pray, Lord God, for uh, wisdom be upon him, Lord. And uh, we pray, Lord, that uh, he will listen to every words that you will whisper to his ear, Lord. May you find courage to lead a country, Lord God, that is so down because of the pandemic, Lord God. We pray for our Church of the Nazarene denomination. We thank you for yesterday's uh, beautiful 125th anniversary uh, for the first ever church uh, of the Nazarene in Los Angeles, Lord God. We thank you for being part of this church. We thank you for all our general superintendents, Lord God. We pray for them, Lord. We pray for wisdom and you you bless them, Lord God. We pray for our beloved uh, Los Angeles District Super Superintendent, President, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Reverend uh, Greg Garman. We, we, we thank you for his life, Lord God. We thank you for your, his leadership, Lord God. We pray for all the local pastors of... Uh, uh, Church of the Nazarene, Lord God. I also pray for all the DS, the district superintendents all over the world, Lord God, for the Church of the Nazarene and all the local pastors. We specifically pray, Lord God, for the churches in U.S. Canada region. We pray, Lord God, for the Filipino Zone churches at, uh, led by uh, Reverend uh, Rodrigo Kema, Lord. We pray for his leadership. We pray, Lord God, for all the Metro LA or Los Angeles Pinoy churches from the Church of the Nazarene congregations, Lord God, to all kinds of denominations that uh, involves Filipino, Lord God, Filipino churches. Bless us, Lord God, and uh, help us to to take over, Lord God, Metro Los Angeles uh, as we go as one force, Lord God, for you to lift up your name in that area. Help our church, Lord God, the uh, Los Angeles Filipino Los Angeles First will be not uh, Church of the Nazarene, that is uh, in uh, 3rd and Vermont Street in Los Angeles. Help our church, Lord God, to bounce back. Help our new leadership. Help our uh, our plans, Lord God, our marketing plans, our our evangelism plans, our discipleship plans, our um, relationship with the other multi-congregations, co congregational churches in that area. Help us, Lord God, to be a light and salt in Los Angeles. Lord, we pray for complete healing for Aryan. 
uh, Arian Wu. Uh, we pray for her full recovery, Lord God. We pray for Mommy Ellie for complete cancer-free uh, situation, Lord God. We thank you that uh, she's uh, pitifully healed by you. We pray for Mommy Delia, the mother of Sister Hansel, for uh, full recovery, Lord God. We remember her in her prayer. We pray for Don Richella for uh, her stage one cancer that, that will be healed soon as possible, Lord God, with your healing hands. We remember uh, Tito Romy, Lord God, for his kidney problem. Uh, Brother Danny Munoz for his kidney problem. We remember Brother Vedi for his pancreatic cancer. We pray and declare healing for all these people, Lord God. We, we ask also for God's comfort, Lord God, for... Uh, for the passing of Alma Patalud and Ling Chalyongko. Uh, Alma, Lord God, is my um, friend, Lord God, in the MYM in, back in 1980s. It's a, youth, it's a youth organization, Lord God, and we thank you that uh, you, bring comfort to our, you will bring comfort to our family, Lord. We ask you, Lord God, to also bring comfort to the family of Ling Chalyongko. She's my cousin, Lord God, and she passed away, and she's just only 41 years old. We pray that uh, you comfort her family, her husband, her child, her children, her her grandchildren, Lord, and her parents, relatives, and friends, classmates, and neighbors, and everyone else, Lord. We pray that uh, you comfort them as uh, we mourn the passing of uh, our cousin, uh, Ling Ling. Giwa Carbonel Chalyonko. We pray, Lord God, for Daniel Maya and his family uh, for their immigration process in the States. Uh, we pray for provisions be upon him. We pray for uh, our fa uh, Facebook friend, William Albright. Uh, his fiance is in the Philippines, he's in the U.S. COVID is stopping the process in many ways. Uh, it would be nice for them to spend Christmas together, Lord. And we pray, Lord God, that um, you grant this request as soon as possible, Lord God. We pray for our sister, Mary Ann Ramos, for her aunt, 80 years old, who needs a major surgery, Lord God. Her name is Loretta Ramos. Uh, we remember her in our prayer that you heal her and uh, you provide for her surgery. We pray for good health for our sister, Julia Christine, in Australia. We pray for the complete healing of the knees of Sister Ninfa Fabula. Thank you, Lord God, for before we, we utter our lips in prayer, you already, you already answered our prayers, Lord God. We pray all this uh, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you very much for being with us for our daily morning prayer and power words. If there's any prayer request that uh, you have in mind, kindly comment down below wherever you um, watched this or heard this, uh, this uh, video. Uh, we, we just comment down below and we will try our very best to pray for you. Uh, for the following morning prayer and power words. This is your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. We will be reopening our church on November 1st, uh, Sunday, 9 a.m. at Wiley Chapel, 3401 West 3rd Street, Los Angeles, California. So we have our details there. We have our website, our email, and um, we have our uh, follow us on our social media. LA Fieldness at, at LA Fieldness for Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you very much for all the blessings that the, all the, the, the beautiful response and for all the uh, well wishes that we're receiving from you guys. And uh, uh, thank you for being with us every morning. As much as a weekend, we will try to. Uh, do this so that uh, we can teach our people to pray, especially our parishioners. Uh, we want to have a spirit of uh, uh, praying church, especially uh, during the times of our transition. Uh, on November 8th, we will be having our installation service. Uh, we will be having a new pastor 
really first Filipino Church of the Nazarene. We wish to invite you also. Thank you. And uh, this is your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. God bless you. Good morning. Happy, happy Monday. Bye.